All right, looks like we just had a little bit of shit. Snow, snot, sleet, whatever you want to call it. Now it's past, right? Isn't it past? I, have no idea. I think it is past. So anyways, we're working on this tractor. It's 7530. Shut the door all the way. I've shut off my heaters. It actually is warm in here now. Um, it's bloody cold, you know, when the roof gets damp. Uh, anyways, this tractor needs a bath, but I just haven't gotten around to it because I'm um, not going to go out and freeze my ass off. A little bit of dirt isn't going to hurt too much. Uh, but what we're doing is we are changing the oil in this thing. I think I stated that when I was at John Deere. And it takes a specific type of filter. There are two. They're high pressure filters. They're under some pretty severe pressure. This one is not as high a pressure, but this one here has an aluminum housing that it goes inside. And I replace it. This is for the hydraulic trans the hydraulic and this is actually the transmission filter. Uh, Joseph has this piece here. When you change the oil in the auto power or IVT transmission, it is required that you remove this pipe and make sure that it is that it is clean because on the this side of the pipe there is the pickup screen that goes to the pumps and it's required that you uh, chain, clean it and what I did was if you see this rag with my footprint that I just so nicely put on there you can see there's a couple little flakes of brass in the what I did that looks wet but it's from starting fluid when I cleaned off the cleaned off the thing but there's a flake there they're super micro thin little shavings could have easily been could have easily happened when the tractor was put together at the plant uh, more than likely you know it's just something that was tight when they assembled the thing or it's metal shavings that were in the case somehow somewhere but I didn't see anything really funky in there that would cause me any concern there were some little there were black specks in here too that these are these are like I want to say that they're bits of of I don't know they look like bits of hay and it is I mean now I can see that it actually doesn't look like bits of hay it looks like stick little like sticks there's a bug and that's what that is. And the pickup screen grabbed that. So, somewhere's over in England, because I really, honestly, we changed the oil on this thing. And uh, actually, we never changed the oil on this. When we got this from England, it had gone through the shop. And they claimed that they had done all the maintenance work on it, which I didn't trust too much. But I believe that they did a lot of the maintenance work. Um, I changed the filters in it this spring, and it's like a... 750 hour job you're supposed to do and I feel that I, I need to do it so I'm changing the oil I've got it all drained out I've got this pickup hitch here dropped all the way down the lift links in the front and the back are dropped all the way down and the oil is drained out of it I still have the plugs open because this hydraulic system has three plugs three different reservoirs in the transmission and you need to open all three and wait 10 to 15 minutes for them to completely drain out there's nothing in that you don't need to be quite that thorough Joe it's not a gun barrel I see something in there. what's in there I don't know. we'll squirt some diesel or gasoline or starting fluid down there and see if it comes out what do you see I don't know. let's see if they can see it I don't see anything in there you don't see any? it looks like oh, what do you see down there I don't know they say it's too dark Ah, that's okay. It's just the way it was formed. There's nothing in there. It would be... That's the suction tube, so there's a high flow. There's a lot of oil flowing through there. I don't think it could stay in there. Well, this is a little gizmo that i got to clean up and reinstall. Uh, this is what holds the screen in. And then the pipe fits over top of that against that extremely filthy O-ring. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up and get it reinstalled where it belongs and then uh, I will put the pipe back together after Joe's done playing with it there because we're uh, we're just about ready to put the oil back in I'm gonna I, I put the uh, I put the plug back in the four-wheel drive unit the drop unit that goes to the front wheel assist and uh, so I'm gonna have to take that back out and drain the last quart or so of oil out of there um, but I'm gonna clean this up pretty good before I go ahead and Stick it back together. So, here we go. I'm in Lancaster. 
I had no diesel, and there's no place in Lancaster to get diesel fuel off of Route 23 at that time. It was nothing. So, I pulled into the shopping center. I can't remember what the hell it was. It wasn't, it was not Walmart. It was a, I don't want to say it was a Speedway or something. It was a, I think it was a Speedway. Or, no, it was a Sheets. 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 <laughs> and I went and I bought four gallons of corn oil. I, I tried to get, well, there. I did, they didn't have diesel fuel, but they had kerosene. So I had I need some kerosene. Oh, okay. <coughs> and she's like, the woman's like, I can't sell you kerosene. You're going to put it in that truck. I was like, yeah, so what? She's like, well, I can't sell you that kerosene because you're going to put it in a truck. It's illegal. Like, it's illegal to put kerosene in the truck. Yes. Could you get me a rag, please? I'm going to wipe that in. Yes, it's illegal to put kerosene in the truck. All right. Can you sell me a, can you sell me a kerosene, five-gallon kerosene jug? Well, no, I can't now because I know what you're going to do, and that's illegal. I says, once it's pumped into that container, I said, then it's no longer your responsibility. It's me. And if I get pulled over, then it's my fault. I can't do it. So, okay, fine, whatever. So I went into, I went over and there was Mazzola corn oil in there. And I bought four or five gallons. It was expensive, six dollars a gallon. I'll never forget, it was like six bucks a gallon for this fucking shit. I'm out in the parking lot putting Mazzola corn oil into the truck. <laughs> Fired her up, drove like 40 miles to where I could get diesel fuel, pumped it in. <laughs> End of story, man. So, if you're ever stuck and you're out of diesel fuel, you can use Mazzola corn oil or <laughs> canola oil or whatever. The cheapest shit you can find. It'll burn it. Something for lighter. Okay. So, it's just dark in color. I don't see any funkiness. This is the bottom of the filter, so that's where it would be. I don't see anything in there. This here, there's some. What's this? Uh, that's just shit that was in there. Nah, pretty pleased. Oh, there's a little squiggle of stuff right there. Just one little piece of metal. Alright, for the most part, I think we're okay with this. Alright. Okay, so are we, what is this, filming brothers? No, it's live streaming. I'll fly streaming, you know. Alright, so, uh, how many gallons of oil you got in there? 15. Okay. Uh, Joseph? Yeah. Give me that thing. Um, if you got 15 gallons in there, where's the uh, sight glass? Did you check that? Okay. Alright, so. Well, change the uh, hydraulic oil. Okay, so go on, climb one up in there. I want you to start that engine up. Joseph. Start engine. You know what engine is? The disease? Yeah. Hey. Okay. My anus is bleeding. All right, so let's fire this thing up. Watch it go down. Should go down. I hear a belt Go down? Oh, Alright, Joe, lift up the arms, lift arms. Uh, Closest to you. Alright, so it's pumping. Up on the top there, there's a uh, little switch. Looks like a hitch. Push it upwards. That should suck that in. Okay, now drop these arms down a little bit. Just a little. Good. Not that far. What did you do? Just a tiny little bit. Not all the way down. Back up. Tim's got it. That's good there. You know, it sounds good. Yeah. Sounds a lot nicer. 
It did have a wine to it the last time. No, I think it was due. You see? But, uh, I'm waiting. Right. Oh, it's out of the glass now? Good. Okay. Kill the engine. You see, there's three different reservoirs in this tractor. Yes. Right, Tim? Yes. Three different reservoirs. The front, the center, and the rear. Okay, so one's for the transmission, the other's for the four-wheel drive drop unit, the one that runs the front-wheel drive, and then there's the differential reservoir. So all three of those have to fill. So now that we've shut it off, it still hasn't come up. So, Mr. Tim, you can go ahead and get me another five-gallon pail of oil. That should be 15 gallons, 16, 17, and we need two and a half, three more gallons. That was probably just like two one-gallons. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. Um, well, whatever. I mean, it's in here, isn't it? No, it's in there. Alright, I'll pump it up. Okay, I guess I got busy. Um, yeah, the uh, hydraulic oil is where it belongs, and that's that. It's done. Seems to run pretty smooth. Uh, everything's working, functioning. Not that there was any noises before, but it seemed like it had a vibration. Not a vibration. I don't know what you would call it. You know when you just... When you start something up and it's cold, like a power steering unit on on your car, and it goes, nee, nee. it was kind of that whiny feeling when it was cold. Um, we just put that new oil in there. This is John Deere oil. Uh, when I did it to 8530, it made a huge, huge difference. So that worked out really well. This has all new oil in it. Very small reservoir. I thought it would be big. I thought it would be huge like the, uh, the 8530. Not quite that big, but at least I thought it would take... 20 gallons or 25 gallons, but it didn't. It only took 17.4 gallons. Um, I bought that drum of oil right there today. So uh, what I'm doing is I took the oil out of this tractor because I don't know when it was changed last. Uh, it, it was supposed to be changed when I bought it in England, but I don't believe it was. I think it's only ever been changed once. So what I did was I put the used oil in the used hydraulic oil in that drum over there. And what I do is I put it in different things care of. Uh, this tractor here, obviously I'm sure I'm going to get some kind of shit because it is dirty. Just haven't had a chance to clean it up and I was talking to the boys. We're going to go down to the, we're going to make a video going down to the, uh, what do you call it, down to the car wash and uh, we'll dump a bunch of dirt in the car wash uh, because we can. And it'd probably be the warmest place to do it. Uh, it's cold here right now and the car wash is pretty sheltered and they use warm water so it'll, it'll It'll clean it up pretty easy. And they got better cleaning solutions there than what I've got. So a lot of people wonder why I keep that on there. And if the you know the license plate, the German or yeah, the English license plates, uh, and why I haven't turned them in or even put American plates on. Well, here in New Jersey we do we do not need a license plate. The reason we don't need a license plate is because uh, it's not required in this state, believe it or not. We required everything else, but license plates on tractors. As long as you carry an insurance policy, you're good. So, anyways, that's it for this oil change. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Ag Talking to Raw.